Hello everyone, Bashar here. Uh, we did the theory crafting stream and now uh, the year of the wolf is coming and the year of the hydra will be retiring. So there will be some uh, major changes coming next week. First of all, the expansions from 2021 are moving to uh, wild uh, from standard and most of the nerfs that have been applied to them will be rolled back. Let's take a look at those. So final showdown, uh, the first phase of the uh, Demon Hunter quest line goes back to drawing four cards again uh, from six. Uh, Karya Falsol goes back to being a six minus six six from uh, seven minus seven seven. And I mean, that's how you get a copy, right? You only run one or two very big demons. So you get a copy on turn six. Razor Man in Battle Guard uh, gets back his health up to 3 again. Cold Car Pack Runner goes down to being a 2 mana 2 3 from a 3 mana 3 4. Dragon Bane Shot also goes back to 2 mana. Our Canis Dawn Grasp, the reward for the, for the Mage Quest, goes back to giving uh, 3 spell damage from 2. The Magister Dawn Grasp, uh, Hero Cards, Hero Power goes back to two, deal 2 damage and honorable kill they gain 2 damage conviction goes back down to 1 mana level up goes down to 5 mana this is actually an old buff nerf they are reverting it I mean old paladin is getting some stuff cold blood goes back to 1 mana after like 5 years maybe and I think it's fair Garot goes back to 3 bleeds again evil miscreant gets his 5th health back uh, forsaken lieutenant goes down to 2 mana uh, the final stage of the shaman quest goes back to two overload cards again from three forgeborn gets his health back uh, dark pack gets rebuffed up to restoring eight health uh, so the demon seed has been reworked and now instead of uh, requiring it used to require six seven and eight damage and uh, while it was in standard it was nerfed to eight eight and eight damage uh, and was banned on wild and now it is 10 10 10 on each stage and it is no longer banned uh, stealer of souls goes back to a being a four mana two six uh, because uh, the way they change the the immune interaction so if uh, and it also uh, just makes the first card you draw cost health so now guys if you are immune and you have to have some uh, pay some health costs they will still cost you health even if you are immune fire vorax i mean i have been asking for this for many years now guys because the thing is i mean we have so many magnificent weapons uh, on three cost as a three two right they have some really, really serious abilities and i have always been saying that fire vorax should go back to two mana and finally it has happened warzone commander uh, goes back to her second form used to be just give charge to everything that's played and then it was nerfed to this and with uh, frothing berserker and uh, patron interactions it was nerfed to be giving rush and now it goes back the watch post gets his fifth out back the i7 gets his fifth out back faceless corruptor gets his attack back noel goes back to 10 now so guys, I'm not very sure that these will be doing too much. I mean, the null would be effective maybe. But uh, the thing is, these cards were that powerful in standard. And uh, now that they are wild, I'm not sure if any of them will see play. I mean, the null has a chance. And so, those are the cards that have their buffs reverted, right? So what else? So the, co the core set is changing, guys. And in the core set, we are actually receiving uh, two evergreen keywords and one returning keyword. The evergreen keyword is so tradable, it has been added to Hearthstone permanently. Uh, it's not just a United and Stormwind mechanic anymore. It is meant to stay and that's what evergreen means, guys. I mean, it exists in the core set, it will exist in the upcoming expansions and I think it's a good uh, mechanic really I mean it's a good decision to keep tradable because I mean if a card is too conditional you can just send it away and get another card instead 
uh, it's a very good mechanic uh, and these cards you see here are going to be in the core set the another uh, evergreen keyword is priest only uh, called overheal some of the priest cards have been reworked and so this is the new north Shire cleric i would say so if you restore the card uh, beyond full health uh, it triggers a bonus effect right and the amount of the overheal is important for some cards only uh, normally even one overheal is enough so let's say uh, you hit a 1-1 one, one with Crimson Clergy, he becomes a 1-2, you use your hero power on it, it becomes a 1-3 and 1 heal goes to waste, that means the overheal is triggered and you draw a card. Uh, and of course overheal works only on the minion, right? So you don't he overheal yourself and draw a card. Uh, I mean guys, it has, it's actually a mechanic that should have existed for a long time as now. Uh, it's nice so that mana geode has been reworked uh, holy champion has been reworked a few cards have been reworked you can take a look at it so dark bishop benedictus comes to the core set and also uh, magnetic is coming but magnetic is not going to be evergreen like overheal and tradable uh, it will exist for now uh, we will get some new cards with magnetic but as i said it's not going to be permanent like the others so what are the cards that are getting buffed in core set i mean returning uh, cards to the core set and what are the cards that are leaving the core set so let's take a look uh, so these are the cards that are leaving core and these are the cards that are coming to core so core was sightless watcher and chaos now are leaving i mean neither of these chaos now was okay but even that one did not this stand play so kind is coming back with five health again yeah so he used to be like this earlier then he was nerfed to three four and when he was rot he rotated to wild he was rebuffed and now he comes back the way he was immolation or is always nice if the studies are nice fandral force earth and scales mount adapter are retiring to wild i mean earth and scales yeah was played in standard but the others are not used at all we have chiri solar eclipse lunar eclipse solar eclipse and lunar eclipse were very popular and i'm sure they will keep getting played this guy will not get played for mana 2 2 but is ridiculous uh, and which wood apple is coming back this used to be one of the worst cards in the game uh, but it has been buffed now instead of giving you three 2 2 trans that cost two for two mana so you would basically play uh, three two twos for eight mana total now it's different it gives you two trans for one mana but the trans also cost one mana so you basically have a card that allows you to play three to uh, two two twos for three mana and of course it has some different synergies because you are you get to play two minions you also get to play a spell uh, it you could benefit from it uh, and on master show snake trap is retiring after eight years of hearthstone guys I mean, it has always been a part of the uh, cards. Dire Friends, Clock on Spring Paw. I mean, Snake Trap was getting played, I guess the others were not. Dragon Bane is coming back. Wandering Monster, Cat Trick, Doggy Biscuit. And Jeweled Macau gets buffed one half. Flame Strike is retiring after eight years of Hearthstone as well. Kalegos, Pyromaniac, Ethereal Conjure, Con of Cold. Con of Cold is actually important because it used to be discovered or something, right? Or some uh, controlling mage decks tried it. Stargazer Luna is coming back. I'm surprised she didn't get a buff, like 3-4 three, 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 or a 2-5. But she's saying the way it is. Firelands Portal, Fire Sail. Flame Geyser got hugely buffed, guys. I mean, it's one mana now. So it deals two damage everywhere, I mean anywhere, and it also gives you an element to your hand. It's very powerful now. And I can artificer coming back. Ragnaros. Aldor is also retiring after eight years, I think. Noble Sacrifice retiring after eight years. Wow, I am getting nostalgic here. These are all retiring. Lotraxion, Master for Battle is coming. Hammer of Rat is buffed to three mana. Uh, that's serious actually. Hand of Adal comes back. I'm surprised that it didn't got rebuffed back to 2 2. And Grime Street Outfitter is actually 2 2 now. Used to be 1 1. That is huge. I mean, it's a very good card now. Morozond Lyra, 
Kulturen köpt med Focus Will Power Infusion Radiant Elemental North Shark Cleric Argetin Retired. I mean, about time Radiant Elemental has been torturing the meta for a long while. Katrina Muerte is coming back and she is one mana cheaper. Dark Bishop Benedict is coming. Mana Geod, Crimson Clergy, Holy Champion, all of these have been reworked. Uh, and Shadow Ascendant is coming back with one extra health. Shard of Naru is coming. That's a nice card. One is a sprint assassin's blade sinister strike after eight years again. Cold blood plague scientist and tomb pillager are retiring. We are getting the shadow jeweler on our. We are getting elven minister with one additional health. Uh, we are getting ambush plague rise cheat death. I mean cheat death is a horrible card. They should have fixed this one. Maybe it should they should have made it cost four less or something. I mean this card is horrible. Fan of knives is buff mana and eviscerate is coming back. Kragva, Mana Tide, Maelstrom, Portal, Tidal Surge, and Rockbiter weapon are going. Grand Totem, Acer, or that thing from below. Ancestor Knowledge coming back, and it's also Overload Cost is reduced by one. Now it's a good card. It used to be bad, now it's a good card. It's like Arcane Intellect in power, so definitely good. And Zap, High Priest, Jekyll, Fast Soldier, Void, Terratine, Not If Evil, and Lakeshire Librarian are retiring. We are getting. Malganis and Astralord Void Colors. I mean, you get the drift here, right? They want us to do some big demon stuff. Uh, controlling Warlock deck, Defile and Spirit Bomb. I mean, there, most of the retiring cards have almost no effect in the meta, right? I mean, none of these are getting played. But the coming cards could be played, mostly. There is Crowley Gorehall, Shield Maiden, Armor Smith, Blood Sail deck, and Blood of Brave and Fire War X are retiring. Armor Smith and Fire War X are retiring after eight years as well. Armagnilla comes back with one additional health. Sword D3, extremely good. Uh, Bladestone Dynamatic, Heavy Plate, Frightened Flank, and Woodcutter's Axe is coming. And Woodcutter's Axe no longer gives the plus two plus one to a rush minion, but a, a random friendly minion. So you don't have to have rush. So that's not bad. Bran is retiring, thank God. Brown was very annoying, right? Reno, Elise, Brown, Surfini, Mossy, Faceless, Eskimo, so these useless cards are retiring, none of them will be getting played, so if, instead of Iron Beak, all we get something much, much better, and Ragnaros, Dr. Boom, Zilliax is coming, Black Knight is, Black Knight costs two mana less now, and he only lost one health, so guys, if there are many taunts out there, the, now he is definitely worth playing, right? I mean, he used to be uh, absolutely unplayable on, uh, as a six mana yeti, but now he is. Dirt Rat is here to hose and annoy the controlling decks out there. Replicating mana so is here, one additional health. Eater of Secrets is here. I would have expected he, he get at least one attack or something. Cult Neophyte is a very good card in the meta. It varies. Armor Vander is a friend of the controlling decks. Wargear has received one additional attack. Rotten Apple Bomb comes back. Royal Library received plus one attack, guys, and now that is a proper silence option. So because you might not always want silence, and when you don't want the silence, you can trade it away, and now he's a four mana four four. I mean, he is very good. I would say he, he will get played. Dread Corsair is coming back. Hench Clan Thug. Bronze Gatekeeper received one additional attack. Rustrot Viper, Glacial Shard. We are also getting Reborn in the core set. Tor Guide is a very nice standard card, I would say. And God knows why, but we have rotated out Murloc Tinyfin and we get the Snow Blipper Penguin instead. So these are the retiring and coming cards. And finally, guys, we have something else to go about, and that is the buffed and nerfed cards. So what about it? So, uh, these are the cards that are new to the core, which we went over. Uh, let me check if we have skipped anything. Yeah, Witchwood Apple. So, as I said, the trance that uh, the Witchwood Apple gives are one mana now. Jeweled Macabre is one additional health. Flame Geyser is one mana cheaper. Hammer of Wrath is one mana cheaper. Grimes with Outfitter received a plus one, plus one. Now he is very powerful. Katrina Marta is one mana cheaper. This card used to be different. Uh, when you healed, you got the 2 2 instead. Now you can overheal and get it. Crimson Clergy. Yeah, I think he received plus 1 attack on healing or something. Now it's much better. 
Shadow Alexander received one elf. Holy Champion was quite different. She was a four mana three five or something and received plus two attack or something on healing. Now she receives two attack on overheal. Uh, Alvin Miss received one health. Fan of Nice got one mana cheaper. Ancestor now, which is overload, was lowered. Uh, Armageddon received one health. Woodcutter's X now gives the plus two plus one to a random friendly minion instead of random friend rush minion. Black Knight is two mana cheaper and has now one less health. Replicating Menace has one additional health. Warrior has one additional attack. Royal Librarian has one additional attack. And Bronze Gatekeeper has one additional attack. So these are the cards that were in wild and now are coming back to core. And what about the existing cards? So Flame Re Reaper received one attack. So guys, this used to be, I mean, a very solid five out of five in arena and now it's six stars out of five i mean it could be one of the best cards in the game and probably the best weapon ever i mean guys your attacks i mean Im imagine the opponent has a nice board you just make it so that he has three minions on board but the the one in the middle is relatively weak and the ones on the edges are bigger right let's say two five fives and a three three and you attack it and you kill two five fives and a three three by taking three damage to your face and only losing one dribble to flame reaper i mean it is insane now uh, gunner glaive symmetry received one health it's now a three three much better now used to be three two rat scale naga actually received another health so guys this was uh, released as a three mana three one and one year later they added it to core and made him a three two now he's a three three so this is rather dangerous now metamorphosis has been buffed now instead of five mana dealing five damage twice uh, it is now four mana dealing four damage twice uh, that's powerful that's powerful so ancient of floor has had quite the journey guys so funny thing this used card used to be guys seven mana five five and it restored five health or drew two cards and it was in air quotes too powerful and it was actually nerfed down to drawing a single card i mean it was never too powerful by the way that was a silly nerf and now it receives plus two plus two and it also restores seven health instead and also draws two cards i mean it is very solid now in arena quite <clears throat> godly but i'm not very sure if we can if it can see ranked play we'll see Druid of the Glow has been changed. The cost has been up by one mana, but instead of a 5-6 rush, now we get a 7-6 rush. Or instead of a 5-6 uh, taunt, we get a 4-9 four, four, taunt. I would say it's better. I mean, it used to be an excellent card. I think it is a little better now. Soul of the Forest has been nerfed to 3 mana. I, I mean, buffed. Used to cost 4 mana, now it's 3 mana. Savannah Hyman received one additional attack, so guys, these are weird, right? Because this card used to be top notch in arena already, and now it's got there. Babbling Book received one additional health, yes. So, uh, those uh, free one mana one ones are now one mana one twos, and they are all 4.7 stars or something. I mean, they used to be very good anyway, now they are much better, they can kill one ones and survive. So, True Silver Champion actually restores one more health now insane he used, it used to be five stars anyway so it's rather crazy and consecration and the other classic uh, famous aoes most of them ha have uh, gone down one mana or received additional potency and consecration is very insane now draconite operative has been buffed instead of a five mana five six now it's a four mana four five excellent card uh, and it is a buff guys because you, the battle cry is more valuable right so the card becoming cheaper makes the card more powerful because the important thing is not the body but the mana and also the body is all excellent anyway next up we have holy nova and holy nova has been restored to its original glory if you recall guys it used to be five mana and this exact effect and last year or two years ago they made it so that it goes down to four mana but it stopped hitting the enemy's face the opponent's face and now it's just one mana cheaper from its old self 
4 mana, deal 2 damage to all enemies, including the enemy's face, and restores 12 to all our side. I mean, awesome. Psychic Conjure is a 1 mana 1 2 now. Insane. Swashburg is a 1 mana 1 2 now. Insane. I mean, these are all very powerful cards now. Feral Spirit. I don't know what is there about Feral Spirit. I mean, it has been buffed to this some time ago. Summon 2 3 Spirit Wolves with Taunt. Overload 1. So the card used to be like this. Uh, I don't fully understand this. I mean, it used to be two overload some time ago, but I think last year or two years ago, it was buffed to one overload. There is something, I guess. Uh, Hex is back to it. So, so guys, this is actually <clears throat> a reversion. So Hex used to cost three mana, and Polymorph used to cost four mana. And since they are similar in power, it was nerfed to uh, four mana, like maybe six years ago. I mean, very, a very long time ago, maybe five years ago. And now it has been reversed and i think it's about time right i mean when consecration is three mana it would be not very polite to hex to have it cost four mana menacing nimbus received one health and hellfire is three mana now so guys we have hellfire consecration at three mana each holy no at four mana so the aoe clearing uh, capabilities has been increased but also guys all of the cards got more powerful right so uh, these cards might have a harder time clearing so these are changes to the core set, uh, the, the cards that uh, we have discussed here will be retiring from standard, so there is no more Flame Strike in Arena now, there is no more uh, Cone of Cold, there is no more Chaos Nova, I mean, so we could actually let go of thinking about some of the AoEs. Uh, so that's about it that's about the year of the wolf guys and it will be live in about a week and uh, the 2021 expansions will rotate out uh, the united installment etc those ones uh, fractured in alterac valley those ones will rotate out but some of the, their cards have been added uh, to the core set uh, as i said i mean the rustrot viper right uh, the royal librarian etc so uh, we will see how it goes when the new year comes i'll see you soon bye bye